Last season, uh, Cougar Town had an episode where you had Naked Day, mm. the Naked Day episode. Is this uh, something that you think would be a good idea for couples to be naked around each other in real life? Um, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, because, well, first of all, I'm the kind of person that prefers only to go out from dusk till late at night. I don't like broad <laughs> sunlight, overhead lighting. No, I, I wouldn't mind showing my boobs maybe, but I would never be walking around naked during broad daylight, no. Well, I think most people would agree with you that they don't want to be walking around town completely naked. <laughs> But you're saying, what about in an intimate situation where you're with, your, your, your with a loved one? Do you, you're not comfortable being naked? I mean, all, like, naked day? I mean, naked what night. What do you keep talking about? Are you a vampire? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but everyone looks better at night. But, I mean, maybe it'd be good for you guys, you know? No, humility. no, it would not. Not for me. I would not be good. <laughs> I shouldn't be seen in the you daytime know, or the honey. nighttime. <laughs> No, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not, we're not a naked household, my You're household. Not, no. There's not a lot of, well, my son occasionally just walks around with <laughs> things hanging out, but uh, he's like a perv on the subway. But the rest of us, uh, no, we're not a naked household. But I do hear there are households. Andy, you're, there's a lot of nudity at your house. Oh my God, there, isn't, there has not been a closed bathroom door in my house for four years. I don't think that's what we mean by naked day. Well, but I yeah, mean, I'm just saying, the kind of nudity that's we're, where we're that's where we're starting. I'm saying, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem around our house. So, uh, so you're saying, do you think you speak for most women when you say they don't want to be seen naked? I think so. I mean, it's supposed to be for, um, it was, the way it was written in the show was so it would rekindle our relationship and keep it sexy. But I don't think any, I mean, that's tough. That'd be tough to be walking around naked. Yeah. And men probably. I think it would be good for your, you know, for you guys to be looked at all the time, not <laughs> when you're perfect. <laughs> Courtney, why are you assuming things get worse when the clothes come off? <laughs> Maybe it all jumps up a notch. <laughs> no, you were right. Uh, <laughs> you were nominated for a People's Choice Award. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting. And I would think <laughs> the... And Harry Styles of One Direction tweeted his fans that they should vote for you, which I thought was incredible. This is one really of the most, nice. becoming one of the most powerful people on the internet, and he's tweeting for you. That's yeah, Harry Styles tweeted for me, and so did Ed Sheeran. Now, these are two huge pop stars. Um, I just gotta say so much for social media, because if I can't win a People's Choice Award with those two tweeting for me, that was it, guys. I blew my wad. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So Harry Styles, and it didn't work. He, he got every, he, got, he tweeted to and all his fans. And he was so sweet to do it, and so was Ed, and yet, um, I'm having to get Obama next year or something. It's really <laughs> tough times. Uh, now, you directed a film last year, and uh, I would think one of the cool things about directing is you get to pick your actors. Yes. You get to decide, and how did that go? Because that's a kind of power that must be fun. It's very different from acting yourself when you get to decide who's going to be in my project. It is. You know, I, you do go out to the people that you want the most. And um, I, I, actually, I, I went out to, um, to Jack Black, and I, I'd seen him. Well, it got back to me that he couldn't do it. He thought it wasn't wise to do it because there'd be too much sexual tension on the set. Mm -hmm. So, um, I Jack, saw him, Jack Black said this? I saw him at a party and I came up to him and I put my arm around him and I said, so I made the film and you didn't do it. I guess there'd be too much sexual tension, huh? And he's like, <laughs> laughed and I said, uh, you know what, you were so funny last time I saw you. The stand-up that you did, you were just so funny. He's like, really, I don't really think of myself as someone who does stand-up so much, but hey, thanks. And I said, yeah, you know, you, you did it for the EB event. And he's like, well, what's EB? I said, oh, it's the charity. Come Dude, you were there. I mean, EB, it's epidermal lysis villosa, this charity I'm involved with. And he said, um, yeah, I guess I do a lot of stuff, you know. And I said, well, how's your wife? Did you have the baby? And he looked at me and goes, you think I'm Zach Galifianakis, don't you? Oh. <laughs> and I said, yes, I do, Jack Black. <laughs> and I got so embarrassed. It was horrible. And I wrote him the next day. I said, I'm so sorry because I'm such a huge fan. And I did offer it to him. Sure, and you're I a huge said, fan. You just don't know which one he and is. And I love him. <laughs> but I love him. He's such a great actor. And I was like, you know, I'm so sorry. I think you're amazing. Love, Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got out of it then. You did the right thing. Oh, it's terrible.